So here's my peony bush that I have been babying and it's supposed to be a deer proof plant, but something has been eating it. And I am most sad because I it didn't bloom at all last year. So I'm in hopes that something will bloom on it this year. I, I, we've lived here five years and I had blooms on it only one time. So we'll cross our fingers on that one. And here is the progress on the trees. Our trees do not get leaves on them until very late in the spring because we're up on a little mountain and it stays a little cooler up here but we're getting a few starting to look a little greener. Listen to the bird. So the dogwood tree is blooming. Love it, it's so pretty. And I've set up our little Umbrella set right here on the uh, the driveway. There, um, our neighbors have just moved into their new house, and they have been working over there, digging up stuff. I don't know what they're doing, but <laughs> we hear a lot of beep 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 beeps. I've still got to um, do some pressure washing. But there's the old camper. She's a good one. And then I done. Well, Steve just blew these leaves and now they've blown back. But I've done a little, little bit of styling. I'm going to paint this door to match the front door. Haven't gotten to it yet. So that's an upcoming project, y'all. So I've been uh, spraying some of the pollen off of the porch today and there's our Japanese maple it's looking beautiful I've got to pressure wash this porch and I also need to uh, scrub the siding or pressure wash it but this is what we've got so far and the bugs are going crazy out here so Steve got me that little sunflower so I put it with my sign, my welcome sign. And we got some wind chime action going on here. So the front porch, here we go. That's our little glider. I got that for from Steve for my birthday years and years and years ago. And I just keep painting it. And then we got another little sitting area right here with my little piggy that my daughter got me a few years back. And I had my little bumblebee to my wreath there on the window. This is an antique coal bucket. And I just love it because it reminds me of my grandmother because that's what she used when she was coming up in the world. That's what they heated their house with. And then over here, well, this mat I've had forever, but I really like it. So I painted my little weenie dog planter. And because I was having kind of a hard time getting anything to grow in it, I just got me some plastic plants at Walmart and my husband didn't even know that they weren't real. So I think that looks cute. And then my Wagmore Barkless. I spray painted that. It was uh, tin and it was getting kind of rusty. So I think that looks cute. Little updates. Then I got my ladybug over here on this wreath. And my chair that I recently put some uh, gel stain on. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more on it. Needs another coat. So, 
This is one side of the porch. I still want to paint that side light in that Mediterranean color that I'm going to do the other door in. I cleaned it, but I have not painted it yet. I think that'll look really pretty. So there we go. It's still too been too cold here to have any plants or flowers. And I'm gonna, this used to be a beautiful tree there and it fell over. It had fallen over several times, but this winter the snow just got it. So I've got to clean that out. I'm gonna get all the rocks out of it. I'm gonna try to plant some deer proof flowers. That's our problem is we've got so many critters that they eat anything that you plant. So you have to stick with stuff that the deer won't eat. So I'm gonna make that little flower bed. Haven't gotten to it yet. But we'll, uh, we'll get some plants and flowers out here once it's warmed up for good. All right, guys, so that is an, oh, look. There's a little Gertie waiting on me. So that's a little bit of what's outside here, outside the house. So today, I also did a little cleaning out here on the back porch. We, we've got, you know, with our trees starting to get leaves. We got a lot of pollen. We get tons and tons of pollen. Um, we also, in the fall and the late summer, we start getting moldy stuff. And it always gets on these doors. So I scrubbed those, got them all clean. I painted them about a year ago, but um, I might get some of my heirloom traditions paint out and paint those again sometime this summer. But anyway, here's a tour of our back porch, our screened-in porch. This is where we like to drink our coffee in the morning when it's nice. And then we've got a little side deck over here. A little rocker. And I've got a small collection of these wind chimes. There's a lady that uh, is local that makes those. And when we have our little local craft fair, that one is from Dollar General, if you can see it. And then this one. They're very pretty. So I buy one every time we go to the craft show. They usually, she usually sells them about twice a year. So cute. And then a little artwork out here. And this is my happy place right here. The hammock. And I love to come out here and spend some time on the hammock. We've got some fans up here, which is nice in the summer. So, that's our screened in porch. And, you know, I put, I put my one little indoor plant out here to get some fresh air, but it's been kind of cold, so no flowers or, or other plants. hear the birds when the trees all get their leaves on it it will be very foresty out here but so we're just in the beginnings of that We've got little tiny leaves My grandson told me that I need to have more puppies in my videos, that my videos were just boring and I need to get some puppy action. So here's a little puppy action from this morning. They both came and got in my lap. Lily gets on top of Gertie and they fall asleep. Sweet little rotten dogs. There you go. This is for my grandson. 
Hey y'all, so we are continuing our update of everything outside and I am about to get started on the door to the apartment. I am going to be painting it with Heirloom Traditions paint. The color is Mediterranean. First step, I had to tape everything off that I didn't want to paint on. Second step, I'm cleaning it with a deglosser. So I'm brushing on the deglosser and then I'm going to scrub it with a little pot scrubber and then I'm gonna wipe it down and that should uh, hopefully prepare the surface and then I'll be ready to paint. So here we go, y'all. I am now applying the deglosser with a brush and you will notice that when you do this, um, that you can actually see all the grime and nasty stuff that's on whatever surface you're about to paint. It just starts coming off. This deglosser is a great thing to clean stuff with. Um, I've even heard them say that you can clean your carpet in your car with it. And I, I believe it because it, it will get anything super clean. Um, so we are about to get finished with this and then we'll move on to the next step. But, uh, Steve came and he scared me. So I jumped, I got that part out. So here he is. He said he would allow himself to be in this video. So there you go. This might be a no-no, but I don't have any pot scrubby things. I think I used them all. So I'm gonna use this fine grade sandpaper to rough it up some and then I'm gonna wipe it down. Okay, y'all, it's time for my step stool. The only thing that goes to the mind when I'm trying to do something like this is the song Short People. Short people got no reason to live. And I'm one of those short people. So I'll be back, back with my handy dandy stool. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna have to do this a couple of times and I don't wanna bore you, so I'll be back when it's time to paint. Okay, it's nice and clean now. I did it, I went over it with the deglosser twice and I scrubbed it down real good. Um, now, I gotta get my paint out. And with this paint, you have got to stir it from the bottom and stir it really, really good. So I'm gonna do that, I won't bore you with that, and then I'll be back to paint. I am about to start painting and you will notice that if you are an heirloom traditions paint person that I'm not 
putting this on the way that they suggest put it on with a brush and then go over it with the roller but I've been using this and I've painted several things so I'm feeling like I can get it on with the roller alone um, I can tell when the bubbles are gone that you know I'm ready to move on to another section so I'm just going to lay this paint on and um, for the first coat which is the ugly coat um, I'm going to lay this on with the br with the um, the little foam roller and again I'm putting it on when it and I'm going to go over it until all the bubbles are gone so we'll see how it looks Okay, so here is the first coat. I'm gonna let that dry really good and then we'll see if it needs any more. It may not, just a little, maybe a light, a light coat. So get some of this tape off. I've never ever like that funky green color that was on this door. Beautiful. Looks awesome. All right, guys. What do you think? That's about all that I've got for you today. Here's a little before and after of the door. I do think I'm going to give it one more coat tomorrow. So I hope y'all are doing great, and I'll talk to you soon.